Okay, today we're going to do a little bit of uh, U.S. equivalency, uh, or <laughs> as I like to call them, confusing conversion. We're going to do 9.7 yards to feet, 0.72 feet to inches, 11 feet 2 and 3 quarters inches to fractional inches, 62.3 centimeters to inches, 4.7 yards to inches. So we're going to figure out each one of these, and I'm going to show you how to do the math. So first, let's start with this one, 9.7 yards to feet. Now, it's really important to actually be able to do the math on this. I know you're going to be tempted to go to Google and just type in fractions or uh, yards to feet. While that tool exists, it's great. You have to rely on the computer programmer that actually programmed that stuff in there and have to rely on them being correct. So even though that technology exists, do this by hand. Understand the basics on how to do this. So let's figure out 9.7 yards to feet. Um, one foot is equal to 0.3333 yards. Okay, so that is pretty much a given. That is our key. That's our cipher. So the easiest way to do this when you need to convert 9.7 yards to feet, um, you know that one foot equals 0.3333 yards. You're going to take 9.7 right there, and you are going to divide it by 0.3333, and that is going to give you 29.102. So we know that there are 29.102 uh, feet per uh, in this equation. Okay, so uh, let's see, let me erase that. Yeah, 29.102 feet in this. Now the next one is 0.72 feet per inches. Remember that there are uh, one foot equals 12 inches. And in case you didn't know this yet, these two hash marks right there, that means inches. If you have one hash mark, okay, if I write that, that means 12 feet. Two hash mark is inches, one hash mark is feet. So 0 0.72 feet to inches. Okay, let's check this out. Um, 0.72. So we've got 0.72 of a foot. We need to get that to inches. The easiest way to do that is to multiply it times 12. So we know, let's say this is a foot. Okay, we know we've got that much, and we know that that is a length of a foot. I know it looks like an inch, but just imagine it's a foot. So 0.72 times 12 gives us 8.640 inches. Okay, so we got that right there. Now next is 11 foot, 2 and 3 quarter inches to fractional inches. And remember, one hash mark right there is feet, two hash marks are inches. Um, remember that one foot equals 12 inches. So the easiest thing to do is start off with the feet, 11 feet times 12 inches, and that's going to give us how many inches are in 11 feet. And 11 times 12 equals 132 inches. Okay, got that. And then we have 2 and 3 quarter. So 132 plus 2 and 3 quarter. So this is really simple. 132 plus 2 is 134 and 3 fourths inches. So when we convert 11 foot 2 and 3 quarters inches to fractional inches, 11 feet times 12 inches gives us 132 inches, plus 2 and 3 quarter, that right there, 134 and 3 fourths. Now let's check out 62.3 centimeters to inches. The key to this is 1 inch is equal to 2.540 centimeters. So that's your equivalency, that's your key, that's your cipher. So the easiest thing to do, uh, 62.3 centimeters divided by 2.540 okay that's our equivalent so if we need to figure this out 62.3 uh, centimeters to inches numerator denominator and that is going to give us 24.527 inches okay so we got uh, 62.3 numerator denominator 24.527 inches now next, this one gets a little bit sticky, yards to inches. You need to remember that one foot 
equals 0.3333 yards. And remember, there is 12 inches in one foot. So first thing we're going to do is convert yards to feet. Um, the easiest thing, so we have 4.7 yards, and we need to convert that into feet. So, let's see. Uh, 4.7 yards equals 14.10 feet. And then feet to inches... fourteen point ten feet two inches equals one sixty nine point two two ah two two I'll round right there so up here you figured out how to convert yards to feet so first convert yards to feet then convert the feet to inches and you come up with 169.22 um, in 4.7 yards to inches. Now, conversions as a whole are kind of confusing. These are basic samples of the U.S. equivalents that's going to be in your activity and that you're going to be tested on later on in the year. Stop this video, rewind it, replay it as many times as you need to get the concepts.